What are you doing? I'm testing my vision. I think you're conning me. <gasps> do I nerd? Yes, I do. Here you what up, nerdlings? Hello, nerdlings! Oh, wow. So many VisionCon videos popping up on the channel, but we had to do a pickup one because we, we got some fun stuff. Starting, of course, the shirts. Look at these Halloween themed shirts. I love it. I loved having it during the Halloween spooky season because things were a little bit more horror related and it was so fun. And you've got a like a trivia thing. I do, going I got a fun on, trivia right? shirt here. It was awesome. Had a lot of fun. So that's cool. Great wearable pieces of memorabilia from a convention. Now, VisionCon is a local to us convention. They are a charity event. So all of the money that they raise goes right into a local charity, which mm -hmm. is very, very cool. This year was interesting. They tried it at a different time of year. We love Halloween time, yes. fall time, favorite time of season. year. <laughs> so it was great to be able to go to a convention during that time. It seemed like there were a little less people. So I don't know if they were like competing with uh, like a lot of the fall festivals yeah. and stuff going around here. I don't know about elsewhere, but in the farming Midwest, people love their fall festivals. Yes. Uh, but honestly, we didn't have any less no, fun because so of that. Uh, there were still lots of people there, lots of great vendors, which is why we got some really, really cool stuff. Starting off just some uh, small little stickers here. It was a buy three deal. I got matching Vivi stickers because one's for me. And one's for his Vivi brother. Absolutely, so. I'm eating cheap chocolate. And you picked out one that you I did, I got uh, Jason, I'm guessing maybe he's on vacation or a little afraid to go on the lake, but he's got a little rubber ducky and a um, inner tube. And it's my favorite Jason, the one from the video game. His mom is probably making sure he doesn't drown again. <laughs> Well, hey, who do we have here? <laughs> All right, have fun. Bye. Guys, it's me, Russ Lyman. Why'd you shut the door? Now, on your shoulders. Speaking of fun, wearable merchandise. <laughs> right? Uh, so. <laughs> It's wearable and they're plushy. It's, it's like a twofer. They're really, really neat. First of all, plushy makes them amazing, but they come with this little metal thing and they've got a magnet in their bottom there. And so it just kind of anywhere you want to stick them, you can stick them to a refrigerator, your clothing, anything super fun like that. And I went with a Slimer, uh, mostly because his eyes are wonky and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. it's like, do I want like a slimer that hangs out with me all day? Little dragon. Little dragon. Yeah. I know. And then I got a little figment dragon here because I'm a mother of dragons. I love dragons. And you also love figment. I oh, mean, I, I don't love think figment. he's officially figment, right? No, he is a kind of a figment. Hey, but it, looks it like doesn't matter. Looks like it enough to me. Something that I had to pick up for you from Toys Art was this stellar. Oh wait, nope, that's the wrong way. Flip it over. But this really great Spider Gwen piece. That's actually what I loved about this piece because it's like you actually could put it however you want. So mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we did get to talk to them without being interrupted. Uh, yeah, that was kind of weird. Although we didn't have the camera going, so no one's even going to no believe that. No one's going to believe that at all, no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> speaking of art, I would like to take a second and point out on the guidebook for the event, right here on the cover, since it kicked off on Friday the 13th, you've got Jason, who's carved out a pumpkin for Vision Con. And do you remember who did I'm the art? I'm pretty sure Eddie Warren did the art for this. If we're wrong, I apologize to the actual artist, but Eddie, correct us if we're wrong, but pretty sure you did the art. And that is freaking amazing. Yeah, Eddie, if you did it, it's awesome. Someone else, if you did it, it's awesome. It's still awesome. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. I love that. So of course, you know, grab your guidebook whenever you go to a convention. Oftentimes there'll be a schedule, vendor list, a little idea of who the special guests are. So all kinds of useful information there. You know, let's circle back around this whole dragon thing. Yes. What is the deal? Why do you have so many dragons? I just love dragons. I, I, I don't need a reason. 
found me a dragon that's a nice super long 3d printed dragon and my favorite color combination here you kind of bluish green with an an orangey sherberty looking color on top and he's just super articulate and i just love him and that is pretty i like that one another booth though he got a fair bit of your he money he did and he was a amazing 3d artist i got these little tiny keychain dragons super adorable they're all three different kinds of dragons this one's kind of like a flower dragon normal dragon and then kind of like a, a smaller winged dragon all different colors so i love these and then i got a bigger dragon from him it is more of a butterfly winged dragon but it's so pretty i was just so drawn to these beautiful rainbow like pastel-y colors and everything. What I really like about this one, the wings kind of match his uh, his facial adornments. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's kind of the same shape and movement and everything. One of the other things that I really liked was on his tail, you've got butterfly wings right there on his tail and they're very articulate. So they're really, I just, there's just so much neat features on this guy. Oftentimes, when you're at a convention, many people think of comic books, and we actually found some comic books here. I nabbed this Street Fighter cross G.I. Joe. What a great mashup that is. I actually have intentions to see if a certain bandana individual needs this or not, <laughs> because I thought of him when I found it, but I did get something for me. This one I am getting for the cover. This issue of X-23, I don't know what it is. We just really like that cover. The cover. I really, really liked the cover. It kind of gives me almost uh, Underworld vibes. Underworld vibes. It also reminds me of another, um, there's a, a book called Anita Blake Vampire Hunter. And then after the books came out, then they kind of made a comic book series of it. And this reminds me kind of, not exactly the art, but this is kind of what they made her look like in the comic book. So it's kind of given me the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter comic book vibe too. I love my What If series, and they have this new series of Disney mashup with What If. So I got What If Mickey Mouse Was Bitten by a Radioactive Spider. <laughs> so we got Mickey Spider-Man. And then the other one was What If Goofy Was Exposed to Gamma Ray? So you've got Goofy Hulk. These are hilarious. I cannot wait to read these, especially with Goofy being Hulk. Is it going to have the anger of Hulk, but clumsiness of Goofy? Is it just going to be his goofiness? like super sized. I mean, just all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Gorsh, looks like it's smashing time. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I've got to save Mary Jane from Green Goblin. Huh? I feel like Mary Jane would be like, oh my God, a mouse, kill it. <laughs> wow, harsh. <laughs> Mary Jane, there's something I've got to show you. <laughs> <gasps> we grabbed a $3 Tales from Stone Pie, so we love our Zombie Dave yes. comics. He's always trying new things he too. Is, yeah, and which he is had, so much uh, fun. Hit some uh, little spooky tales right in here. So it's just a quick little read here, but it's perfect for the spooky season. Except for this page. I don't, like I don't the think spider. that you like no. the spider. Okay, okay, we'll put the spider page away. I'm so sorry. Thank you. We picked up some other fun things from V's T's Horror and um, Monster Trunk Memorial. I got a really cool necklace that has bits of dirt or brick from The Exorcist. And I also got some bits of dirt from the Day of the Dead sets. So this is really cool. I get to carry around a piece of the set with me. And I was having such a hard time trying to decide which necklace I wanted to choose. You were sweet enough and whipped out your card and said, Get them both for the lady. Hey, dirt and rocks, nothing's too fancy for my lady. <laughs> they do have uh, kind of a, almost a certificate of authenticity They do, they each well. one of them on the back of the card. So she said, definitely don't throw the cards away. And they're numbered. And then the front of the card tells you what movie it's from and where on set it comes from. So that's really, really neat. Even trying to narrow it down to these two is difficult because I knew I wanted The Exorcist, but I was having a really hard time going back and forth between The Day of the Dead and Sleepaway Camp 2. But I ultimately went with The Day of the Dead. So if we ever see her again, maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions about the way things are gonna run around here from now on? Keeping this horror-themed train going, Cartoons by Andy was we there. We love Cartoons by Andy. Oh, we have worked with them on so many commissions for ourselves, for some friends of ours. 
and we loved one that they had done years ago of us as Hercules and Xena yes. when Kevin Sorbo was at an event. <laughs> so real quick, we wanted to get a themed picture, yes, so and we, we went with... Morticia and Gomez. And wonderful artwork, as always, by... Sergeant by Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. It's always Thank you. you guys. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because I've always thought of me and you as a Morticia and Gomez style romance with a little bit of Joker and Harley thrown in there for the craziness. So, yeah, I thought you and I are perfect as Morticia and Gomez. Do you nerd for the Adams Family? Ba -da -da -da. Well, I didn't stop with just dirt necklaces. No, no. I got a dead rat that I am going to turn into a necklace. Because, you know, who doesn't just love a dead rat? That's actually pretty Isn't cute. It it's adorable? so weird that it's a dead rat, but it's, it's I know. so adorable. I had a hard time deciding. I almost went back and got another one just so he would have a friend. Because, you know, you don't want to be dead alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did find one more piece of jewelry. Not that it really goes along no, with your rat. it's not that hoary. I did find these super cute Spider-Man earrings, and they're kind of hanging from their web. And I saw them from across the room, and I was like, oh, those are cool Spider-Man earrings. But then as upon closer inspection, it's Lego Spider-Man. So you got two of my favorite loves right in there. So I had to get these. And when you first said that, I was thinking like Lego minifigs. Yeah, and I was like, no, they're, they're Lego. They're like wooden Lego. Th those are great. They're really great. <laughs> <laughs> and another really fun booth that we talked to for quite a while, actually, I bought this adorable handmade leather pin pin holder which is really neat looking. i know it's super neat super clever i was like that is so cute and then you open it up and your pins go inside there and then you can hang it on your belt or you know whatever you want to do with it so cute they also if you purchase something you could play the little claw machine oh so close but luckily it lets you go again until the song finishes and i won this adorable 3D printed little vial. You got it! <laughs> now I have to try to figure out how to get it over there. No, oh, a lot of times I'll figure it out. I did that! Oh, I can find it! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And the fun part about it, it actually opens and you can put stuff in there. Now I can put a shot in there and when the day gets really bad, I can just take a quick <laughs> little shot. <laughs> the 3D printed potion jars that they yes, had, that was kind of the so thing that first cute. drew you over to their booth. Uh-huh, uh -huh. they had really, you know, like bigger ones and everything like but that. But the, uh, the pin holder, that's something that's so clever. It's like if you had an artist friend and you really were stumped with what to get them, yes. something like that would just knock it out of the park. Perfect idea for something like that. I'm an artist. Oh, what kind of thing do you do? Anger. Pain. Ow. Fear. <laughs> Aggression. We kind of saved this for last because this was super, super Sweet. It's funny. Yes. We saved it for last, and it was like the first thing we it got. It was, yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a special visitor who gave us a gift. Now, we got some lovely wax coins with a mushroom motif yeah, I thought those because were of their so cosplay. Cute and clever. Yeah, we love this. So that was neat. But what we really, <laughs> really love that is amazing, and Thank you look you. incredible. So these are for you guys. Oh my god. That is amazing. Those are awesome. Oh my that gosh. Awesome. Thank Those you so much. So cool. That is Thank so cool. You. That is amazing. You guys are so cool. I figured I'd do something for you guys. Well, thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. Also, you do have a YouTube channel. Yes. Would you? Like to Would you? Yes. Yes. Go I am Marie the Ghost. I do cosplay. I do live streams of me playing video games. I do a little bit of everything, honestly. I mean, look at how dapper I'm looking there in the tropical shirt. Thank <laughs> you very much. And I am just wearing one of my favorite colors. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And so, of course, put me in my favorite colors and then my signature red lipstick. So I love these. Thank you yes, so, these are so amazing. much. Stuff like this, it's like, I, I'm going to have to say, I think it's probably our favorite thing that we got there. Yes. Just because it's something that cannot be replicated <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I mean, the comics, the dragons, okay. You know, they're, they're fine, I guess. But stuff like that, it's so cool. And it's so yeah. sweet. So thank so you neat. so much. 
as many links as I can make sure to get into the video and in the description down below. Please check out any of these vendors, these other creators. Let them know that you saw them here on Do You Nerd? And whenever it comes to events like VisionCon, please support your local conventions, yes. expos, events. You're what keep them alive. You're what help them go, go and grow. And in the case of VisionCon, whenever they are a charitable event, you can make a difference. Yes, we love VisionCon and they're going to kind of stay in the same time frame next year. They're going to be in November this next year. So that'll be interesting. And word on the street is they're going to have a pretty great guest, but we'll save that for next year. <laughs> we'll see you next time, nerdlings. Bye. Oh, my boobies. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. He can also just sit right there on your shoulder if you want. That's a really great stop Sorry. in your mic. I forget the mic on that side. Okay. Hold still. I am now. It was upside down. Okay, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Nicely done. You're right on the ball uh, with it. Thank you. It's ingrained into my brain. Oh, by the way, thank you. The new Elvira pen. <laughs> That's hilarious. Great. Hey, dirt and rocks, nothing's too good for my man. <laughs> <laughs> Hang, hang on, let me try. You want to try again? I'm not say, a man. I was going to say madam. Oh, madam. But I I didn't like how that was sounding. Okay, ready? Yes.